It's Toto for the Peter Channel. Sign off news of this. Late Saturday night, August 21st, 2016. And just before the Peter Channel signs off into that, I said we had a late night. News and eyes at 11 o'clock in this late Saturday night. I'm Peter Wiggins and I your news and eyes. Top story at 11 o'clock is Donald Trump launches a campaign on promise me a very, very tough and illegal immigrant creation and immigrants he called Mexican immigrants, rapists, and criminals. The real unbelievable did when a spectacular carnival is part of closing ceremony and official head over to 2020 host Tokyo. The call for ceremony lasted almost three hours. So in Brazil's arts and was held in a wet macarena. Russian President Vladimir Putin has expressed his condolences to the telegram to Turkey's president following the attack on a Kurdish border party, which it says he showed the international community must work together fighting terrorism. Iraqi security forces on Sunday asked for one of the 36 men sentenced to death in the mass killing of Strat military personnel at an air base in 2014. Call fell on Monday during the closest and known over the weekend and did all strengthened in after comments from the U.S. Federal Reserve officials increased best in the U.S. Marking the date Somalia as Paris suicide car bombing struck a government building in Somalia on Sunday, killing 23 people, including two attackers and 40 dead. North Korea on Monday threatened and month apprehended a nuclear strike in South Korea and the United States and the Allies kicked out their annual military, exercising the counter to Pyongyang's political potential aggression. Doctors examined Prime Minister Lee Sun Yong announced he fainted during a fatigue and dehydration real and had a stroke of a health event. La Chris of New Mexico, a New Mexico police officer, was fatally shot during a traffic stop, was remembered Sunday as a man who worked tirelessly to get a job in law enforcement, and ultimately winning over the small village was charged with prosecuting. Five days after the explosive wildfire in Southern California, George thousands of their homes, our 40 days lived in all evacuation orders on Sunday and allowed them to return. Walker, Louisiana, our outside the small town of Walker, Louisiana, Royal Baptist Church has gone, becoming an oasis for flood victims as the brought as well as meant. Torrential rain earlier this month, National Guard bears could cruise top people off and stop walking back to the hospital. The man who killed people, man who police believe killed five adults and an unborn baby in Centennial, Alabama, will be charged with six counts of murder, the Mobile County District Attorney Office said Sunday. Plainville, as the town continues to build up, green space has been disappearing at an alarming rate. At Plainville, about 100 acres mostly forested land in the West End is a situation as far as it is concerned. The town has given in the first right to acquire the land known as the Berg property of Hawkins Street and Peck Road since it's been under a state program for land preservation that yields tax breaks. The purchase and sales agreement between the owner and the Berg family limited partnership and trust and developer Grandis Homes have been away for $1.5 million, but the director planning and developer Chris Yuma City is unaware. That any plans to develop the land, some West End residents have highlighted that the town doesn't have a plan to dedicate funds readily available to acquire open state base. Over a dozen fire trucks made a warning entrance to the 25th annual Massachusetts Auto Festival in the Crick River Fireground on Sunday morning, where a replica of famous Austin Space Street was included in the event. Out of a motorcycle caught fire outside of the Prospect Street Dome Sunday afternoon, singing to the house and a given minor burn to the bike's owner. Albert O'Neill Boulevard was once known as Raceway, but in the years to come, it could be known as Medical Mile. A private bus from North Albert Base Limousine service struck two people in East Boston early Sunday morning, killing one of them. A 50 year old North Albert man died at to shoot himself Saturday night at American Farm School in Stanton Desert Park, a 40 days ahead. Boston Federal Hall of Mount Grace will celebrate its 48th anniversary. It's probably reopened by throwing it back to the 1970s with the Disco Dance Party. Pfizer is nearing an agreement by Medivation Incorporated and then moving that would allow to add one of the grand jewels in the multi billion dollar market for cancer drugs to Pfizer portfolio, according to people familiar with it. Treasury took that with a 10 year note set to halt two day rally as investor Wade Hawkins comments from Federal Reserve officials this week to against a more benign tone at the Central Bank's July mini minutes. OPEC has done it again, talking about potential deal freeze out, but to help push oil closer to $50 a barrel and property money, managers cut the bets on falling prices about the most ever. Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovechkin is seen folded by the hatchway of the Russian segment and board the International Space Station in July. When the weather is hot, zebra finches and Austria sing their eggs, and these incubation cells change the chick's development as steady as found. Children head back to school Monday in Miami Dade County, Florida, where health officials battle in the Zika outbreak in the Winwood neighborhood part of Miami Beach. Among older folks, close family relationships appear more than important than dear friends and extended life in New City finds. The American man of the corner, George Soros and Tom Sad, are putting millions of dollars to efforts to put Hillary Clinton in the White House and winning control of the Senate.
and take a look at New England and it's alerts at 11.05. Oh, let's put on the traffic and the report at 11.05 and it's late Sunday night. Let's study off on the MBTA where... It is looking good enough on the MBTA subway. On the computer rail, looking good and on the ferries, they are looking good. Okay, take a look at how it's in Bowie's, uh... New England, 95. On both ends, it's back up between Fairfield and the... Bronx River Parkway, 95. It's back up from... South Bronx, it's back up from Norwalk, all the way out to... New Rochelle, New York. 95, Norwalk, it's back to New Rochelle, all the way out to Norwalk. Grant, 279. Grand Central Parkway, West Bantide, backed up a flushing all the way at the Lugwater Airport. Legging the tunnel these East it is backed up from New Jersey to the Manhattan. 95 in the North Bantide, it's backed up for what leads to Bronx. A4 on both ends, it's backed up from Waterbury all the way out to the Newtown Stretch. A4 East Bantide, backed up in the Newtown Stretch. 91 in the North Bantide, it is backed up around Hartford Stretch. Mass packing interchanges with 91, 291, and 84 in the Chickpea and Sturbridge Jerry South. Little Soul, 291, and South Bad Back to the stream between 291 and 57. 84, West Bad Side, it's back to run in the Mass Pike and Sturbridge. How is the Bowers? Brother Down in Eastern Massachusetts are looking good. 198 in the North Bad Side, Little Soul, and the Boston Stretch. 95 in the South Bad Side, it's back to run in Hamilton Tolls by Route 101. 295 in the South Bad Side, back to run Route 95 up in South Portland. 89 is South Bad Side, it's slow after the Canadian border up in. Vermont and all route 15 backed up around 202 after the U.S. border in Southern Quebec headed towards Montreal. Peter Chillers Hub is 11.06 p.m. on this late Sunday night. Time now for a uh, weather report. And now, Fiona is weakened with tropical depression. 23.8 north, 56.6 west. Max for saying winds 35 miles an hour. Movement west, stop west at 18 miles an hour. Fiona weakens with trouble with depression. There are no close water waters effect at 11 p.m. on a certain time. Central to trouble depression. Fiona is well located in the latitude 23.8 to the west. 23.8 to the north. Latitude 56.6 west. Fiona is moving toward the west northwest near 80 miles out. Continue west northwest with motion with gradual decrease in force speed is forecast on Monday and Tuesday. Map the same with a decrease near 35 miles out. With higher gusts, little change in strength is forecast during the next 48 hours, but Fiona could become a post tropical weather alone in the next day too. It's been a minute of pressure, 1,008 bill bars at 29 by 77 inches. And two more advisories, two more trouble with depression to watch. The service number one at 12 will be located about 1,000 miles east of the Lester until it's pretty slim and just not sharp to the dry air near the system. It's expected to be significant development during the next few days while the disturbance moves westward to the west northwest at about 15, 20 miles an hour. And if I'm good, it can become more connected with the development late this week in the system of expected move near his and in the southeastern and central Bahamas. And on this service number two, Sean and Dunstorm Act to be continued to show signs of organization and search with a tropical wave in an area of low pressure located about 250 miles south, southeast of the southern Cabo Verde Islands. And environment conditions are critical for development and a tropical pressure likely to form during that. Next day, two while the system moves westward to west northwest, we about 15 20 miles over the eastern part of the Pickle Atlantic Ocean. Formation chest for four hours, higher 8%. Formation chest for five days, higher 90%. Alright, take a look at. Radar and it shows a wall of rain. Zoom you out a little bit and it shows a line of rain. Shower stretching, line of rain stretching from eastern Quebec, stretching it up to western Maine and down to much of Vermont, New Hampshire, and central western Massachusetts and western Rhode Island, down to Connecticut, and down to Long Island, and curving it down by the northeastern portion of North Carolina. And zooming you out, it shows a lot of rain showers from Ware, Massachusetts, and from Palmer, Massachusetts, and from Springfield, Massachusetts, and a lot of heavy bends of showers and thunderstorms search from Norfolk, Connecticut, from Enfield, down from Hartford, and heavy bends of showers from Farmington, down from Princeton, and Waterbury, stretch down Newtown, up to Tumble, down to Stamford, and then stretch it all the way down through Harrison, New York. Alright. Seven day forecast goes like this. For today, 
we're gonna have in the overnight hours tonight. Oh, special weather statement, hazardous weather outlook. A period of widespread rain shots are affecting the region of North Island, where the weather thunderstorm is also possible the main time for rain is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. across western Massachusetts and North Carolina, between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. in eastern Massachusetts and Island. The good news is rain should be over the time of the Monday morning rush hour. Well, the roll of rain in the entire region and not even one will see significant amounts. However, localized areas may receive over one inch of rain in less than an hour, bringing the potential for some brief street flooding, particularly in an area that falls within an urbanized area. The overall server for it's a rather low overnight, however, low risk could exist for a few strong storms are very isolated. Wind damage will cross without needing to balance just after midnight. Water is traveled overnight should be prepared for the potential of a brief street flooding and localized torrential rainfall. Alright, 7 day forecast goes like this, but overnight, Shots of thunderstorms before 4 a.m. Then a shot's like possibly a thunderstorm between 4 and 5 a.m. Then a slight touch of shots and thunderstorms after 5 a.m. So the storms will put heavy rain. Punch right after midnight. Low rain. Night to 66 degrees. South one about 5 to 7 miles. But just pitches 1 percent. New rain will mark between a quarter and a half an inch possible. All right. Monday. We clouds are giving away the sun. The gradual clearing now about A1. North force about 6 miles an hour. For Monday night, close call about 54 degrees. North force about 3 to 6 miles an hour. For Tuesday, Sunday, the coast covered. Sunday, about 32 degrees. North force about 3 to 5 miles an hour. For Wednesday, Sunday, most coast covered. 86 about 62 degrees. For Thursday, Sunday, pop cost about 86, 5 about 66 degrees. For Friday, most of the pop cost about 87 about 68 degrees. For Saturday, most of the pop cost covered 86 about 65 degrees. And for Sunday, most of the pop cost 84 degrees. Currently, here, not near at the 11. 11 hour. It is. Overcasting it, saying water degrees with a humidity of 8.5%. That is going to be it for the Peter Channel set off news on this late Saturday, August 21st, 2016. I'm here to hope you have a good night and a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow morning with a more important night. I had a time out 12 minutes after 11 o'clock on this late Saturday. Peter Channel me sign up for the night. This period will be over. Good night and good morning. Good night. Good night.